So, there are three ways to play any Anarchy server. You can play in vanilla. If you're a little bit nutty, you can play in VR. But the most popular way to play is with a hacked client. And as you can see from this clip right now, I am using a to fly hacks. I'm using a Lambda in this clip, which in my opinion is the best free client out there. So I have made some configs for you to download and try out, and I'm also going to be teaching you how to use Lambda. This video is mostly for newcomers, but I hope you enjoy. One thing before we start, never ever get a .jar file from Discord, even if you trust a person, don't trust it. Always get it from GitHub, that's the safest possible way to get it. And to get it, you just click on this link and it downloads. And then you need to go to your mods folder in your Minecraft and just put it in there, it's easy. And then to get my configs, you want to join my Discord server, link is below. Go to frequently asked questions and I'll have my configs folder in here. It's going to be a dot .jar, so just right click on it and extract to Lambda. You'll then get this folder and you just put it in your dot .minecraft folder exactly like it is right here. And it'll be installed. Open up Minecraft and I'll see you in there. Alright, so we're in Minecraft. The default keybind to open up Lambda is 1. Now I have changed the colours quite a bit. If you want to change it? Right click it, primary color, and then change it to whatever the hell you want. What will most likely happen is that your GUI will be all over the place. Like, like when I loaded up for the first time, my GUI was like over here. Because I haven't used this config in so long and I've changed monitors to some PC since then. So just drag it back into position, it's quite easy. You can also disable things on and off, like radar, I like to have that on for base hunting anyway. And what I have done here is I've just put together all the basics that you should have on pretty much all the terms like anti-hunger, offhand, extra chat, history, mob owner, map preview, so on and so forth. Now I know the Elijah flight is a big thing that everyone cares about and I've changed it up because this video is mostly for newcomers and I've switched to creative flight. It is very easy to use and it's pretty damn fast, you're going 90 blocks a second and it's just like creative in you know, creative mode. It's up, down, left, right, however you like it. At you know top speeds, you can go down the highway it's super fast with this. I I used this for quite a long time until I switched to control, but uh, control is a little bit more harder to use for like first time players. So I'm staying. I'm putting it on my creative configs for now. You can of course tweak it and change it. Oh, pop the totem. <laughs> All right then. Some of my favorite modules in here is friend highlight and chat history because I can because I can see all my friends that are typing in chat so I can just you know ignore the spam and I can also scroll up like I can have 5,000 messages loaded so then I never miss anything oh that's the x-ray keybind speaking of keybinds I got up arrow as a light to fly right arrow as timer I got back arrow as auto walk I normally have right arrow on as search, but I don't currently have that keybind. But yeah, it's all down to personal press. It's all down to personal preference. X is obviously X-ray, and then if you look right next to your enter button, right square bracket is free cam, left is view locks. So like when you're traveling on highways, you won't knock your mouse by accident and go flying off in a random direction. One of the things I don't like Lambda about the most is that is this right here is the name tags above people's names i think it looks quite ugly and i've done the best to configure it so it looks okay you could put a background on it that's up to you but that's how i would like it i used to have uh seppuku running alongside it just for the name tags and the no render because i prefer that a lot more than lambdas there's one more thing i've been asked about and that's the highway tools Highway Tools on 3.1 is shit, so you want to download 3.0.1 because that actually fucking works. I haven't even bothered to configure the Highway Tools on here just because how bad it is. You know, you can't break, you can't place, it's full of bugs, I wish they fixed it. I've heard someone's planning on fixing it for 3.1, but I just downloaded 3.0.1, not 3.1 if you want to pay the highways. And then just DM me on Discord for the config so I can give them away. Now, I read every single one of your messages and I always reply, same down in the comments. So if you've got any questions, DM me on Discord, comment it down below, I will respond. But hopefully this answered a lot of your questions. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. 
Bye.